delivered by Storks. After all, she had to help deliver her newborn brother when her mom went into labor early. Jasmine McEnany called 911 when her mom's water broke and dispatchers, they had to walk that little girl through 13 minutes of delivery. Her mom says she stayed remarkably calm through the entire process. Well, tonight on ABC 57 News at 6, downtown South Bend is in the dark. We're doing everything we can to get your power back on. That is our plan to make it business as usual. ABC 57 does have team coverage on this big story that's impacting restaurants, hotels, and everything in between. As graduation ceremonies begin here shortly, our reporters are live covering this outage as crews work to restore power. Plus, we have some frost advisories in place for tonight that could impact some of you in the downtown area without power. Right now, ABC 57 News at 6 starts right now. Covering South Bend, Elkhart, and all of Michiana, this is ABC 57 News at 6. Tonight, ABC 57 News at 6 starts with the biggest story across Michiana. We are, of, co of course, talking about that power outage in downtown South Bend. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kim Chapel, and as you can see, our co my co-anchor, Brian Dorman, is out anchoring in the field as we cover this developing story here tonight. But first, we do want to show you where this is all happening in the downtown area. Here is a map of the South Bend outage. You can see it goes south of Memorial Hospital and then north of the county jail. The outage is east of the St. Joseph River and west of the Chapin Street area. Crews are coming from out of town, including Fort Wayne and Ohio, to help officials restore power to South Bend by Sunday. The city is using a hashtag throughout this outage. You'll see that hashtag DTSB power out used throughout ABC 57's coverage of this outage here tonight. You'll notice on the map that you're watching and there's a lot of Right now, 800 customers are without power, and Indiana, Michigan Power says they don't know why this happened, but their focus right now is to just get that power back on. At this hour, several businesses are closed, but on our website at abc57.com, you can find a list of the shops and restaurants and hotels that are open and operating off of a generator right now. And city leaders says they said they know this is an inconvenience, and right now they're just asking for the patience of the public. This is the top opportunity for South Bend to come together. It was a very big weekend for us with Notre Dame commencement, a chance to show our hospitality to our guests, and also to a And again, Indiana, Michigan Power Company says they hope to have power restored by noon on Sunday. Reporting live in South Bend, Rachel Brown, ABC 57 News. And tonight, ABC 57 does have team coverage on this power outage that is affecting so many here in the Michigan area. ABC 57's Alexandra Cohen, Emily Evans, and our chief meteorologist Jamie Martin are all covering this outage tonight. But we start here with ABC 57's Daryl Bajoris on how this all began in downtown last night. Daryl. For Indiana, Michigan Power says the fire started late last night in an underground manhole vault and quickly spread to four other volts in the downtown area. Now, along with that, it knocked out power and charred a bunch of circuit wires in the process. But at this point, they can't say what triggered the sparks in the first place. Here's what we do know, though. The last infrastructure update was in 2001, but how much of the system was replaced at that time is unknown. We've been pressing the utility company for answers all day long. Here's what they had to say. There has been problems in the past. Uh, we are we're actually already going through an, a complete inspection of our system. We will continue that to make sure that our system is as safe as possible. Now, the utility company estimates that full restoration will be or take place by noon on Sunday. Of course, that could fluctuate depending on what they find in the next few hours. Of course, when the power is back on, we'll be sure to let you know. Reporting live in downtown South Bend, Daryl Bajoris, ABC 57 News. All right, Daryl, nice job for us. We appreciate it. I can tell you, boy, the weather has really changed since we began our coverage here downtown live at 5 o'clock. The wind has picked up. No doubt a cool night tonight as these power crews work around the clock to get power restored here downtown. We are also live now for you near Fort Wayne's Field, a home game tonight against the Fort Wayne Tin Caps. 
Of course, everyone wants to know what the weather is going to be like. Let's check in now with ABC 57 Chief Meteorologist Jamie Marnie is tracking a cold night for us tonight. Chief. Yeah, absolutely, Brian. Right now, very chilly conditions across the area. Make sure you are layered up before you head out the door. In fact, overnight tonight, frost advisory is going into effect from midnight all the way through 8 a.m. coming up on our Saturday. We are talking about some cold conditions across the region. We are looking at some rain showers right now. May sneak of just a few sprinkles here up towards the metro area right now from Goshen over towards Napanee and right along 6. We're looking at the chance of showers continuing across the region there. It's all going to be lifting its way off towards the northwest into Walkerton 614 and North Liberty at 620. We'll keep tracking the rain showers and talk more about that weekend forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Kim and thousands of families are coming to the area for graduation this weekend and they're getting here to find out they maybe don't have a place to stay because of this power outage. ABC 57's Alexandra Cohen is live for us at Notre Dame where the university is stepping in to help students as graduation weekend begins. Alexandra. Kim, Notre Dame is allowing families to stay here on campus in the dorms for $40 a person this weekend to help alleviate any problems that have arose from the power outages in downtown. Several downtown hotels and apartments are still in the dark as crews work to get the lights on. This is a look at downtown South Bend this morning. Dark windows and open parking spots. For many families venturing to South Bend to watch their college graduates get a diploma, it's a last minute scramble to find a place to stay. And a lot of people are staying downtown. A lot of people have reservations at some of the restaurants. So, yeah, it's definitely an inconvenience for people. Um, some of the people actually have like rented houses or like apartments in the area. Um, so with no power, like that's not really a viable option anymore. Again, you can check ABC57.com to find out if your favorite restaurant or hotel is closed downtown. Stay with ABC57 for updates as we follow the power outages throughout the weekend. Reporting live from Notre Dame, Alexandra Cohen, ABC57 News impact and this certainly is a big deal for hotels and restaurants really the two here downtown go hand in hand you can only imagine the financial impact of the two for graduation in, uh, weekend for that we turn things over to abc 57's emily evans emily yes they will brian the owners of cafe navarre and LaSalle grill tell me they've been up before dawn working to get generators up and running and any spoiled food out of their restaurants and tonight they say they're back to business as usual the south bend chocolate cafe is working right now to get back to business as usual this weekend as well restaurant owners i talked to say this outage couldn't have come at a more inconvenient time they say this is their biggest money making weekend of the year with notre dame and st mary's commencement ceremonies happening LaSalle grill typically rakes in anywhere from 40 to 60 thousand dollars each year from the three day graduation weekend. Cafe Navarre is booked for more than 1300 reservations through the next few days and the restaurant's owner says shutting down was not an option. Economically, that would have been tough. You know, lost business interruption insurance would have by no means covered even a small 